Our data from Visit Seattle shows visitors spent about $8.2 billion in the city and in King County in 2023, a nearly 13% increase from 2022. Lots of money, huh? So it's encouraging news for what's to come in 2024 as the city continues to recover from the COVID-19 pandemic. Kelly Koopmans is in the ARC Lounge this morning with Visit Seattle's president and CEO. Kelly? Well, thanks for joining us, guys. And Tammy, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. You know, 2023 was a huge year, to say the least. Uh, we mentioned that it was record setting, of course. What else from this data stood out to you? You know, it, it just, um, it was the year that it felt like Seattle was back, right, from, from the pandemic. It felt so good. Uh, everything from just a, a really record setting cruise season to having the MLB All-Stars to um, some, some record setting weekends uh, throughout the summer. It just, it just felt good. The streets were alive um, and business was back. And I think everyone felt that too. Everyone still talks about that one July weekend that was action-packed what was in there it was well and and thanks it's it's uh, we're talking about what what I think people refer to as the Taylor Swift weekend yes and, and certainly she was a, a big deal um, <laughs> But what, there were there were 144,000 Swifties, but there were also 129,000 Blue Jays and Mariners fans in town. They're they're always a sellout. We had nine cruise ships with 27,000 passengers. We had 4,000 people attending two citywide conventions. We had the Bite of Seattle. Um, we had the Capitol Hill Block Party, and then just the the regular um, amount of, of visitors that were here too. So you know, it, it's that mix that really makes those um, those weekends that that amazing feeling of, of fullness um, and certainly a, a huge economic boon to the city. What's, <clears throat> excuse me, what's crazy to think about is just a few years ago, a weekend like that seemed unimaginable or really far away. While COVID was happening, the city clearly was different. What does what's happening now and what we see happening in the future mean for the city as we're climbing out of the pandemic and trying to return to some sense of, of normalcy? Right, just just um, so important. I think that um, the fact that we have weekends like that and, and really a year like we did, uh, you know, with, with occupancy in the hotels coming back, certainly revenue coming back, um, so many major events coming, concerts, all of those kinds of things, just really tells us how important it is that we as humans need to connect with one another and 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 have that sense of adventure and visit places. For Seattle, um, that that activity on the street is critical for uh, how we move forward. That, that um, liveliness um, certainly discourages nefarious activity, um, but it also, um, it really helps our small businesses. We, we push really hard to make sure that underserved um, uh, communities and, and BIPOC owned, LGBTQ plus owned businesses um, are elevated and highlighted um, and, the, and those businesses really can't survive without the visitor economy. I would imagine part of that is the messaging of telling people Seattle's ready for you, um, opening the door, laying out the welcome mat, if you will. What kinds of campaigns do you have underway right now to try and attract uh, those tourists? You know, we, um, we tell a story, our story in several different ways. So um, we have what we call an evergreen campaign, a campaign always on called I Know a Place, um, where we really have locals um, tell the story of, of Seattle and what they what they love most about it. Um, we have uh, visitseattle.tv um, that has so much video content and we've got local folks um, from, from our sports community, from our celebrity community, from our chef community, um, talking about what they love about Seattle. Um, we're a UNESCO um, uh, literary city of literature. So um, we have a series called Bookmarked where we have um, famous people reading excer excerpts from Seattle um, authored books. Uh, and we also just, uh, you know, go and talk about uh, some, some crazy stuff. We, we take rain booths um, out on the road to really hot places in the summertime so that people can feel like it's not a monsoon here when it rains. It's a beautiful, gentle, cozy season. A rain booth. Kind of thing. So yeah. is it like a cage or something you walk in and it rains on you? Um, it, it is. It's a huge backdrop. It looks like a movie poster when you take the picture. Oh, cool! Um, and it's just really gentle rain um, that that has been a huge hit. We've taken Seattle pops on the road um, to hot places. Um, we've bought in, uh, we, bought in. We've overtaken coffee shops and in, in destinations that are key markets for us. And and said, you know, th that this morning's just coffee is on you because Seattle is a coffee town. Um, and those are all activations to amplify then the the advertising that follows in those markets. Okay, so it's spring. There's a buzz in the air, of course. 
course, as we welcome the new season and eventually what will be a, a jam-packed summer. What kinds of events do we have on tap? It, we've got some great stuff coming. Um, 275 cruise ship sailings to begin with, um, but we also have, um, we're going to be marking the um, 50 years of pride um, this summer. And so at the end of May, we're having what we're calling the love for all boat where we're inviting couples to come and renew their vows um, LGBTQ plus couples mm -hmm. um, to, to celebrate that we've got some um, great conventions coming to town this summer we've got some amazing concerts uh, Rolling Stones and Billy Joel and um, all kinds of uh, things like that all, all of all of the things really excited about the waterfront reopening yes. uh, the new aquarium all of all of those things um, go together to make what I think is going to be a really great summer I think people who live here want to be tourists in their own city too as we, as we welcome everyone else. As you should, as you should. <laughs> There's so many things to do here. Um, you know, whether that's going to a sporting event or a concert or just enjoying the nature and the outdoors or mm -hmm. taking a ferry or going for a hike. Um, this is an amazing place and we're just so blessed to, to be able to live here, but also be able to, to invite people to come and visit. What do you love about, about the city? What do you love to do here? I, I love all of the things I just mentioned. You know, we, we've got an amazing performing arts um, community here. Uh, I love getting out and just exploring the trails and, and hiking. And um, I live downtown, so I love to walk down to Pike Place Market and go get my produce on a Saturday and just hear all the languages that are being spoken and talk to the artisans. And, uh, you know, it, it's just such an incredibly grounded community. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I think that our values come through in, in um, how we spend our time. And that's a really important connection for our visitors all right tammy thank you so much for your time guys aren't we so lucky here yeah. come on now we live in the <laughs> a gem of a place don't we we sure do <laughs> thank you kelly yeah and i love what she mentioned like being a tourist in your own city i love doing that mm -hmm. just like going out and trying to explore things that i've never seen before and and i, I live in seattle yeah. so